Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Shala. Today in this video, we would be looking at the procedure on how to host a website on the cloud. We would be using Amazon Web Services and we would be hosting a single HTML page website on an EC2 instance, which is nothing but a virtual machine in the cloud. For this, we would be installing HTTPD, that is Apache Web Server, and installing or configuring our index.html on that particular website. Once the website is ready, we would also try to access it from our browser using the IP address and see if it is working or not. If in case we face firewall related issues, we would also try to fix them on the go. So this is uh, the simple HTML page uh, that I have created for the demo purpose. And we could access this HTML page on our browser locally. So So let's open this website on the local browser. So this is C cloud and this is the index.html that we would be referring to and opening on the cloud. This index.html also has a hyperlink which the, which takes us to the Cloud Part Shala YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to it, I would strongly recommend you to subscribe to the channel for us. You also have an embedded YouTube link and all of this is part of the code that we have. And if you're interested in contacting us, you could definitely reach out to us on WhatsApp or email me on Gmail. So let's start by. So let's start by going into the Amazon Web Services dashboard. I am currently in the US East region and I have a default VPC created for this demo purpose. I'll be going into the EC2 section and we'll click on launch instance. And we would be giving it the name as web server. And we would be selecting the Amazon machine image and the instance type would be T2 micro. A T2 micro would be very much enough for handling certain users that's with one cpu and one gb of ram what we would be doing is going with the key pair batch 33 us east one and i would be selecting the vpc which is already the default vpc over here i would not be selecting any subnets because this would take in one of the subnets that are already there, USDs would have about six subnets, and most of them, and all of them in a default VPC, are public facing subnets attached to the Internet Gateway via the route table. What I also would be doing is creating a new security group and would not be using the default security group, which might be allowing all the traffic, and I would be creating the EC2 instance. So once the EC2 instance is created, you will have a green ribbon over here and we'll get the instance ID. And uh, once we click on select, we should be able to see that the EC2 instance uh, coming in the running state. And once it is in the running state, we would also be getting a public IP over there. The EC2 instance has just come into the running state and uh, we already have the IP address. So I would be going into my terminal, would be going into the drive where I have my keys hosted or saved. And uh, I will just do SSH EC2 hyphen user, IP address hyphen I, and then the IP or the PEM key. Now, once I do this, if the server has booted up, it would allow us to log in. If you see, Linux servers are much, much, much faster than Windows servers, even with one CPU and one GPU of RAM. The boot up process has completed successfully and already logged into the server. I would elevate my privileges with a sudo su. So I have not become a root user 
the very first thing that I do is a yum update. And once I do a yum update, it should check if there are any updates available for us to be installed. And if there are nothing, the next thing that I am going to do is uh, install HTTPD. Now, as I said, HTTPD is the Apache Web Server, which we would be installing on our EC2 instance. Once the servers, the HTTP installation is completed, uh, you could check the status of the service by doing a system CTL status HTTPD service. And as you see, this is currently inactive, but loaded. What I would be doing is uh, restarting the service. What I would be doing is uh, restarting the service and that should not say restarting but restart and if i do a status for this same thing you should be able to see that the service is up and running now there are multiple ways in which we can copy the html file so i would do this manually for this video and from the next video we would try to automate it by putting the html code either in s3 and try to do some automation with the user data so that the HTML code can be downloaded from the S3 bucket and the website can be directly hosted. As of now, I'm currently inside the HTML web page. And uh, if you see, we should not have any index.html. I'll do a vi index.html and try to see. So I'll get my website from the VS code. Uh, this should be the entire website, all lines, and I'll go inside the code. So I'll go into the insert mode and uh, would paste in the content of our HTML file. And if you see, I do have a special character at the starting. I'll just get rid of that. Save and close the file. And uh, to check if I am, I'm, I am able to do a uh, curl. So what I'll do is curl local post on the website and see if I'm able to get the HTML or not. As you see, the website is working. Now, the only thing is to check if the website is accessible from our uh, web pages or not. So what I'll do is uh, try to do this. And if you see, I am not able to find or access this website. Now, this is because while creating, we only allowed the security group, that is a firewall around the EC2 instance to allow 22, port number 22, what we need to do is we need to allow HTTP access as well. Now I'm going to do it only for my IP address and try to see if it still works or not. So this is my IP address. I will save this. And if I reload the page, I should be able to see it working from my EC2 instance as well. So this is how you can actually access your websites or create your website in such a way that you are able to access your html code from the server but just reload the page just to see that uh, everything actually loads up properly so this is still running in the background what i can do is click on this and see if it is taking me to the cloud partial youtube channel or not Again, if you're not subscribed to it, do subscribe to the channel so that you could find many more interesting technical videos around AWS Cloud and DevOps. What I would also like to see if we are able to load this uh, page or not. Now this slowness can be attributed to one, the system speed at my end, to the amount of bandwidth that my server is able to provide. So yeah, this is how you could host your website on your virtual machine in the cloud. 
and see that it is working so now you see that everything has loaded properly i'm able to open this hyperlink Hello and everyone, this welcome YouTube to video is being played from series, my website. The mysteries it's of it. new age technologies are unlocked. Uh, how we can host a website on our EC2 instances and how we can make it working. And uh, we also try to look at a small technical glitch where in the port number HTTP was not allowed for our access. Now, we don't have an SSL certificate installed on a server, so we would not be able to open a HTTPS. A port and try to access that but this is a very good example of how the demonstration works if you are interested in many such videos so definitely recommend you to subscribe and if you like this video please hit a like and do share it across thank you so much for watching we'll come up with more videos thank you have a great day